Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. We're doing your um, soulmate slash twin flame reading. Yes, I am uh, in a different location. Those are orders and recipe behind me. <laughs> and uh, okay, so um, this is gonna be uploaded now on YouTube. Um, this is gonna be a series uh, um, until we get to the point where things uh, finish with this uh, reading. Okay, so it's gonna, it's gonna be part one. We don't know. What we're, I'll, I'll, I'll explain in the part two what will happen. Okay, um, but first uh, we are fully booked for June. So urgent readings are discounted in the member site. Please do sign up there if you need a, if you need a reading. Okay, there's a next day reading only if you need. Okay, <laughs> all right. I'm busy. That's why I'm here at the store. Okay, so for the Scorpios. Okay, we're gonna divide the deck. This is a panoramic deck. Okay. Um, and we're gonna divide it into two, which is gonna be you and then you know the other person that you're connecting with. Um, whatever, however you feel, you feel towards them, can be your soulmate or twin flame that you're connecting with. Okay, it's up to you to know it. I'm not here to enforce it on you. Okay, so let's see what's going on with Scorpio. First card is um, how you felt, Scorpio, um, with this person you have here. Okay, I'm not sure. I really don't know why it's not focusing all of a sudden. Oh, but you have your Three of Wands, okay? So the Three of Wands energy over here, I'm seeing is how you felt, is that a strong sense of awakening, okay? It's almost like you feel that you were a, a plant that is, you know, put in somewhere and then you grow. Um, you see this person also from a distance. This is the energy of the Three of Wands. The energy of the Three of Wands also is expectation of something big to come towards you, and that's what you felt. Um, yes, you can be connecting with a fire sign, um, Scorpio, or but I'm seeing here you're the one who's who's taking care of the person. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here also. Um, how the person felt you have here. Okay, um, Two of Swords. This has been a stalker card also. A lot of people. A lot of. Um, um, Zodiac got it. The Two of Swords is about, um, you know, person is not knowing what happened. They're probably not also conscious of you. Um, they need to need, they need to sort things out first. Can be an air sign also that needs some clarity first before they can move with your energy. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. Um, how? Uh, what is the action card for you? Oh wow, this looks nice. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so Scorpio. Um, this is like. If you see here, it's like a person doing the, some gardening over here. So Eight of Pentacles is showing um, patience, manifestation, and these are action card, meaning things are a lot, uh, uh, moving you into a situation where things are just happening magnifically because it's just blossoming. You know, like energies are very clear, and you know the direction, and it's it's just like things are blossoming around you, and it, it's it's providing a good sense of abundance even an energy that you can create and this is what's the action card interesting the other person's uh, card for their action card is seven of pentacles interesting because look at that i told you guys this is a panoramic card so look at the situation over here so um scorpio this is them this is you you guys are very very connected in what your action right now is one is planting, one is uh, focusing, okay? One is waiting for things to come out and you already come out. So you guys are just in one one stay, one level apart, okay? So, I mean, I'm even seeing here, maybe you guys are work in the same building and one is in the top floor, one is in the other side, and it's almost like always mix matching, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. Now, as far as the uh, foreseeable future for you, Scorpio, very interesting there, okay? Um, you have here, um, Page of Swords, okay so probably um as a future card over here i'm seeing that you probably met this person but you're not um i'm um, saying anything you're holding back on communication you don't know how to open up and you're smitten by this person you do find this person very attractive but you don't know how to open up now the other person a foreseeable future wow the sun card again okay so the I just shuffle this so um they can be a leo okay also i'm seeing here a fire sign or an earth sign but this is a strong card for a leo or an aries leo or sag for them their foreseeable future is is just like illumination and things are are growing and glowing and 
and positive vibration in their in their foreseeable future they're just beaming with positive energy they probably have some sort of, of answer with regards to two of swords and which they haven't had before and now they can finally answer or now they can finally commit to a connection because before they can't now this is a top um, opposite one can be also um, um, just the yes for whatever they were looking for as an answer it has been finally answered and that's what they're that's what they have worked for okay so can be this person is totally manifesting work and they finally found work also and that's their energy right now this is what is going on okay with regards to your soulmate uh, twin flame connection now um, Scorpio this will, we'll, we'll be having a part two and then I'll show you in the part two what will happen everything's gonna be here on YouTube um, if you guys book a reading um, I will see you guys in your next appointment have a wonderful day guys bye